to uh, show the rest of this jar of itsy bitsy. And we had a load of flag pins. And I'm not going to put them all out. They're all in good shape. I know there's at least 20 or more. We had some findings. We have these curb bar beads. We had a bunch of little leaves, charms. I'm just lining it up, honey, if you'll mm -hmm. just bag it. I am. We had a bunch of little stars, little beads. We had, I'm going to put these in with the star beads too, these little things. A bunch of rodeo cow girl boy little charms. That's where you have the little hole right there. We have I'm putting all these together. This is sun moon uh, charm type, and I guess. Uh, I'm not sure. That reminds me of the moon, so it went in with the rest of them. Here's the other. This is the moon and star charms that are in there. And then here's the sun charm. Which ones are those? Sun, moon, and. Yeah, there's about, probably about 50 more of those in that container. Oh. Well, poo, I didn't know that. What else she put in that container? It's just all mixed? Well. I thought it was mostly the anchors and the cowboy stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so here we go. I've got to go through all those. Yay, yay. I'll pull out the sun ones and put them in here. Later. Yeah. <laughs> put them to the side. What about the cowboy things? There may not have been any of those. Well, if there is, I'll find it and put it back together yeah. with it. Okay. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we had this pendant. I'm going to keep it for painting purposes. I think I'm going to paint an owl on that. Where do you want these things to be bagged up, honey? Uh, they're going in the box. Oh, oh in, in here? In the bin? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. They're for sale, honey. Okay. Okay, okay. Here's some Liz Claiborne earrings, teardrops with... Um, Beaded fringe. I call it beaded fringe. It's got, it looks like uh, abalone in the center teardrop there. These are very pretty. And I don't know, these are cold. They could be stone. There's wood. Getting to where you can see them. Those are very pretty. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. Here's some pretty blue stone clip earrings in silver tone. And they have rhinestones around the blue rhinestone. Here's the backs. In very good condition. I don't see any markings. Here's a pair of silver and marcasite earrings, little hearts. Very cute. Here's the backs. There's the 925 stamp. They're a bit tarnished. These are silver, honey. Okay. This is a single silver earring, which I thought I had the match to, so I'm gonna have to go look for it again. But it's marked in here, 925. Very cool, very large. This is silver, you might just put these together. No, no, don't, because it's single. Put these in, yeah, by themselves, I'm sorry. 
There's another one that's marked 14 karat. Now where is it marked? Right there. On top, it's just hard to see it. Pink here. Very pretty. These are just going my tray. Singles. Mm -hmm. I'm over to the side. Just trying to help you get caught up here. I appreciate it. I'm going to do some small earrings here, some little studs. Try to get them all in one bag. What are you whispering? I said, come on, you little stars. Get on the card. I need to test these, make sure they're not diamond. I might have to put them together in a separate one. I test them. Um, just taking me a minute. Do I see any more? Yes, these black ones. Yeah, this other one's just chock full stuff. Here's some study rings. Very pretty. Here's the other one of this one right here. With those in the same bag or different? Yeah, okay. put them all together. I'm going to hand them to you. Got it. Okay. Here's some pretty turquoise, French wire enamel. There's the backs in good condition. We have these red, white, and blue hoops. Very pretty. We have these teardrop beaded, red, white, and blue, to me. I don't know, that could be a grayish color there. Looks blue on camera, though. Here's some little, um, I, I believe these are acrylic, purple, French wire earrings. Oops. Here's some red, white, and blue uh, posts that are um, bows with a rhinestone up at the top, as well as throughout the whole little bow. Very pretty. This looks like Tory Burch earrings to me. I don't know if it is for sure. They're not marked. They're posts. They're in good shape. We have the gargoyle earrings. Look very strange. They have uh, little rhinestones in the eyes. Let's see if there's a they're really heavy, and they're not magnetic. Probably pewter. I think. Let me just test it real quick. They just have that pewter look. Yeah, it does. But we're going to make sure. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Get that out. Get this out. And yes, you're right, they're pewter. They're not silver. Very cool. Yep, that they are. Here's some little glass French wire earrings. Pretty brown, gold, and blackish color. 
Here's the box. It's blue on the back. Oh yeah, the blue's coming out through the tip there. Here's some post earrings that are enamel. Very pretty with a little rhinestone there. There's the backs. They're in good shape. I don't see any names on them. These are cool earrings. They're post and they're Indian head pennies. Dated 1901. Here's the backs. Let's take these off. There we go. Here's the backs. They're trimmed in a metal that I don't know what it is. So we'll test it to see if it's silver. Because it looks like it may be. Oh yeah, that's silver. So those are set in silver. Honey, these are uh, 925, these Indian heads. Okay. Are set 925. Right. Frame, framed in 925. Okay. I'll put them here. Okay. That's what I was doing. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I found this bracelet in the midst of the earrings. And it's marked 925. Right there. Do a quick little rub. Oh yeah, that's 925. Let's see if the dolphins are. Oh yeah, I'm sure they are too. And the Rello chain. If I can grab it. There we go. We can test them. Two, three, one. Oh, yeah, that's silver. Two, silver. And I gotta get yet a new one. Got one right there in front of you. No, that's old. Uh -huh. And yes, it's silver. So the chain, the clasp, and the dolphins are all silver. It is a size. Get them out here. You have three dolphins on this. And it is a size. Where is my... On it. Okay, here's another post earring with a metal bead that is enameled. I believe it's a metal bead. It's very pretty. These look silver too, but I haven't tested them. I guess I can do a magnetic test. Yeah, that's not. Let's see if I can get a little rub here. Yep. Sure looks it. I say pewter. But I could be wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. And you're right, honey, it's pewter. Very pretty, though. Oh, yeah. This has, remember that necklace I liked with the stones on it? I do. It? 
Well, these are the earrings that match it. All right, and the necklace is in. In the bag. Box. Okay. Okay. So. Yep. Bag them, but I want them to go with the I'll necklace. I'll find it. Yes, you will. Yes, I will. Because you're awesome. Uh huh. Here's some pretty little stones. Cat's eye, and I don't know if this is a venturine or jade. I haven't tested it. But that, that's very pretty. And then there was this piece here. That's very beautiful. And I, I don't know if it's cat's eye. It's got blue in it, it looks like. But it acts like a cat's eye piece, so I'm not sure what that is. You definitely see cat's eye in it. So there we go. Very pretty. Have some more earrings. These are glass. Very pretty honey colored with a AB wash on them. These need to be cleaned up because that one's dull, but they're very pretty. On wires. They are not glass, I don't believe, but when they're cleaned up, they look like that. That one's got to be cleaned up. That's why it looks dull. Here's a cufflink tie tack semi set. We're missing one of the cufflinks. There's the tie tack. I'm going to put them together and hopefully we'll find the other. And another jar. Okay, they're together. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Here's um, some blue stud earrings. Very pretty. Nice setting in there. I haven't tested them. I don't see any marks. Love that deep blue. Here's some little lever back earrings. The black stone in them. I don't see any marks on those. Here's another pair of glass earrings on French wires with a mother pearl. You have the white mother pearl on one side and the abalone looking mother pearl on the other. Let's see if I switch it around. Very pretty. These can go together. Okay. I'm going to do some tack pins here. Here's sightseeing gray line everywhere. Here's a per. I don't know what that means. P-E-R. Looks like it had a stone in it at one time. It's a moose. Might be a tie thing. I'm not sure what it is. No, I think it goes on a suit or something. It screws on, but it has those little teeth on it. I guess to make sure it stays on the jacket. I bet there was a diamond in there and somebody took it out. Or did we have any loose? We had some loose. Yeah, we got tons of loose diamonds. <laughs> oh, loose stones. <laughs> that we could put in there. Oh, now where'd it go? With the big honker in there. Oh, hush. <laughs> You're so silly. Oh, I can't get it out now. Come out. There it goes. Oh, I think that's too big, too. But if you put a stone in there, it would look like that. Very pretty. Nope, that's too big. Even oh. that's too big. Oh, okay. I didn't know what the size was to start yeah. with, so. So we're going to keep them together, though. My bad. Here's a Discovery Cove tack pen. Here's a McDonald's tack pen. Alrighty, what year was that? 500 years ago? 73 when I worked in there? No, it doesn't have a date. Just made in Taiwan. 
Here's a tack pen. Uh, Public Health Association, West Virginia. Here's a tack pen. AFT, AFL CIO, whatever that is. The union. I figured that. Oh, you see more? Oh, another flag. We uh -huh. missed a flag. Here's a middies, whatever that means. It could be a midshipman, it could be from a naval academy. Okay. Could be. Here's a tack flag pen, very pretty one. Here's the bat. Oh, look what I found. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Thank another you. one. Here's another tack pen. It looks like you could engrave on that one. Here's the back. It's got something on it. One-tenth, ten carat. So this is gold, honey. Yeah, one Cancer awareness tack pen. It doesn't have the back. And do you see any more? Oh, yeah. I found one. Dog bone. Tack pen. I think we're good. Okay, those are all the tack pens. There you go, honey. You can bag those. Thank you, dear. These are beautiful, ornate leaf earrings. I felt sure they would have a marking on them. Look on the inside good here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Don't see anything. Love these. Here's some French wire earrings with blue beads and rhinestones. Very pretty. Here's some more glass. This is like sea glass or I want to call it frosted. frosted. You always remember in green, very pretty earrings. Like those. Here's some cat's eye. Pretty white cat's eye earrings. I wonder if we had a necklace that went with that. I'm just ringing a bell with me, but that's okay. Here's some little pearl and blue bead earrings. Where is my loop? I'm going to loop these real quick. Here it is. But those kind of look like lapis. And I believe they are, yes, they are lapis beads. So you have dyed pearl and lapis beads. Let's see if I have anything written on that. Where's my magnet? Oh, right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they're not. Yes, those are silver. So these are pearl, lapis, and silver wires. Here's some little post where you can add. Um, this is an earring enhancer here. So you could add to other um, post earrings. 
It looks like another one went in there. Here are some gold tone hoop earrings. I don't see any marks. I will loop it real quick. Sometimes they're hard to see without a loop. see an M and an E. So I don't know what that means. An M and an E. Oh, Monet. That's what it means. Jeez. It's got Monet. It starts here with an M. Then it goes around here to the Monet. The E.T. You don't see the E.T. as well, but it's there. E.T. So these are Monet hoops. Very nice. I thought they felt nice. <clears throat> the next one we have is some wavy hoops. Circles. In gold tone. I have some wear on them. We have a really pretty scarf clip. Almost looks like it could be a shoe clip too. This part, but it's not. That's just the way that's clipped on there. I'm gonna do some more pins. We have this one. Ad Nursing, Harvard College. Ad Nursing. I don't know what that is. AD nursing? I don't know. I li love these. Keep calm and eat. Bat those eyes. Very cute. They're a little... Tundra magnet. Thank you, honey. Pins like that. I'm not ready yet. Here's another one that says... Methodist. Here's the back. Pins? No, I haven't oh. shown them. Oh. Here's a little heart pin. You can take that one. I don't want that one. Which one do you want? I want those right there. Oh, yeah, you can have those. Thank you, hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. Uh, I don't know what that is. UNP. And this one is a FHS 1970. Woohoo. We have some cufflinks. These are really pretty. That have RN. And they're mother they look like Mother of Pearl, setting Mother of Pearl on top. Here's the underside, they're in good shape. Very nice. Here's a single one. Hmm. Registered nurse, that's what it is. Yeah, you didn't know that? RN? Well, could be Ralph North. I mean, you know. Oh, please. I didn't see the caduce. I didn't see him. Here's a little owl pendant. Very cute. Here's the back. Here's some tiny hoop earrings. I suspect one or two, or one of them could be gold. They're the old style type. Very lightweight. One's got diamond cutting on it. This one does, a little one. Does that one have it? One does and one doesn't. Oh, let's see if they're magnetic. Yep. Those aren't. 
These are the ones I would suspect were gold, but I don't see any marks. I'm going to put them together. There's another pendant. I'm going to pull out some pendants here. Our pend pendants are charms. Whichever ones you want to make them. It's got AB stones inside. A little caged. Here is Copenhagen charm. I think these are more like charms. And they could be all sterling too. This one's marked on the back. I am Methodist, and this one's Mark Sterling. And that one's Mark something down here. Right there. Let me see what that says. Sterling. So they're both sterling. These are sterling, honey. So we'll put them in another pile over here, but don't pick them up yet. Here's a little heart pendant. Here's the back. Here's a little 13 charm. It's also sterling. Here's a little glass bead. Crackle glass. Green bead or pendant. I believe this may be jade. And this is probably gold filled. It shows it on both sides. No, it doesn't. I thought I'd flipped it. Not marked, though. I'm not sure. Some kind of pendant. Here's a, another pendant, not marked. Here is a crown that most of the stones have been harvested. Put that in the hobby lot. Here's a little, I guess cheerleader or somebody that's tooting a horn. Doesn't look much like a cheerleader. I guess it is, though. I can't see any marks.